It has been less than a month since Dr. Disrespect vanished from the internet following the surfacing of extremely damaging allegations of sexual messaging with a minor, which in part he admitted to. Now, Mr. Beast's team has come under fire. So Mr. Beast has two biologically male friends. One abandoned his son and his wife so he could pursue his dream of dressing up like a woman and anime character. The other decided to read Bible verses daily on TikTok. Today's verse is from Matthew chapter 6, verse 6. But when you pray, go into your room and shut the door and pray to your father who is in secret. And your father who sees in secret will reward you. Can you guess which one receives more hate? I guess for now it is Chris Tyson. And do you know for what? Yeah, it's rewind time. Chris Tyson from Mr. Beast used me and manipulated me and did very inappropriate things with me while I was about 15 years old. So who is Chris Tyson? Many of you might recognize him then and now her from the popular Mr. Beast channel where she's been a prominent figure. Chris, we're doing four last leaves. This is the first one, and the winners of all four compete in a fifth one for $1 million, which means there's three more. So she played a pivotal role in the success of Mr. Beast's YouTube channel, contributing to some of the most memorable and high-stakes videos. They're drinking water, telling stories about our yesteryears. We're actually talking about movies, so it's kind of like watching a movie. I guess that's what they did back in the caveman days. They just talked about, like, Nicolas Cage movies. Known for his unwavering dedication and hard work, Chris was an integral part of the challenging series, Last to Leave. So how are you gonna pick all the other people? I'm glad you asked. Here's how, if you buy merch or follow me on Instagram, you'll be entered. In this video, we'll explore the allegations against Chris Tyson, the responses from the key players involved, and how the internet has reacted. We'll also look into the impact these allegations have had on Mr. Beast and the trans community. Stick around to get the full scoop. I'm a goofy goober. Yeah. You're a goofy goober. Yeah. We're all goofy goobers. <laughs> so recently, Tyson has found herself at the center of some very serious accusations. These allegations were brought to light by YouTuber Prism42 in June 2024 and have since gone viral, causing quite a stir online. Of course, he says, I posted some fire nudes for you. Please no share. Let's start with the Shadman Artwork Commission allegations. Back in 2017, Tyson, who was then known as Chris Tyson and hadn't yet transitioned, was reportedly a fan of Shadman, a controversial artist known for creating explicit and often disturbing artwork. Tyson allegedly commented on several of Shadman's posts, including some depicting child abuse and sexual situations. There's even evidence suggesting that Tyson commissioned artwork from Shadman, which she proudly displayed in her living room. This information resurfaced in April 2023, thanks to an article by Redux, and it's been a point of contention ever since. But that's not all. So Mr. Beast's tranny friend, he's been caught talking to kids, trying to f children. Surprise, surprise. Didn't see that one coming. The more recent and perhaps more troubling allegations involve claims of grooming, According to Prism42, Tyson allegedly messaged a minor known online as Lava GS when he was just 14 years old and Tyson was in her 20s. The accusations suggest that Tyson and Lava had numerous interactions, some of which were deemed inappropriate. Screenshots of their conversations, including comments about hentai and donations on Patreon, were shared by Prism42, painting a concerning picture. And of course, he says, I posted some fire nudes for you. Please no share. And this is someone that you're talking to that is 14 years old, that you know is 14. And now here's where things get even more complicated. Lava GS, the alleged victim, responded to these accusations, denying any wrongdoing on Tyson's part. He claimed that the videos and evidence presented by Prism 42 were misleading and that he was never groomed by Tyson. Lava stated that much of what was shared were just edgy jokes. So he came up to defend Tyson and posted this on X. These videos are massive lies and twisting the truth. Ava never did anything wrong and just made a few edgy jokes. I was never exploited or taken advantage of. Can you do me a favor and comment on these videos and tell them to stop spreading lies? 
This situation takes away from children who are actively being exploited every day online. I am not a victim of anything being claimed in these videos or at all. He even added another post to the thread. I am not a victim and I am not backpedaling any statements I have already made. Everything I have stated is still very true. Nothing bad happened between me and Chris. People are creating lies around my name. Yesterday, while under a lot of stress from trying to get my story out as quickly as possible, I made a mistake and included two videos in a tweet that had nothing to do with my situation. Here are the correct videos, and these ones should be taken down. I apologize to the creators of the original videos in the first screenshots. Bro, how do you think grooming starts? It starts with things like inappropriate jokes. It's testing the waters, seeing how far they can go. You were a child and he was a grown man messaging you privately and being very inappropriate with you. You may not see yourself as a victim, but in a society where children should be protected, it has failed you and he, as the grown man, should have realized your age and not engage at all. This denial has added a layer of complexity to the story. Because, on other end, Tyson just deleted his main X account and posted an apology from his secondary account. I would like to apologize for any of my past behavior or comments if it hurt or offended anyone. It was not my intent. Seeing recent events, we've mutually decided it's best. I permanently step away from all things Mr. Beast and social media to focus on my family and mental health. To lump these two factors together, to create a narrative that my behavior extended beyond bad edgy jokes is disgusting and did not happen. In past years, I have learned that my old humor is not acceptable. I cannot change who I was, but I can continue to work on myself. I don't want these accusations to impact the hundreds of people who work at Mr. Beast, which is why I have stepped away. You stepped away because you got caught. I'm sure a lot of parents are relieved. And now they can finally show Mr. Beast to their kids again. He added another tweet by saying, I want to add, I never groomed anyone. The person who gets brought up in these accusations, Lava GS has vocally supported that they are false. You spoke to a 14-year-old child about hentai and corn, and you supported an artist like Shadman, who draws real children in equal ways. And you are still saying you haven't groomed anyone. Bro, you are a toxin to society and belong to jail. <laughs> Meanwhile, all of this denial and apology drama was happening. Another boy named Nathan came forward with his story. And he accused Ava Chris Tyson of preying upon him when he was 15. Chris Tyson from Mr. Beast used me and manipulated me and did very inappropriate things with me while I was about 15 years old. He claimed to be a friend of Lava GS. I was actually friends with Lava GS at the time, who is the main victim of Chris that everyone has been talking about these last few days. Who claims he isn't a victim, but we all know he is, and we all know he probably got paid off. According to him, he and Lava GS were managing Tyson's Discord server and helping set up his Twitch streams. Me and him were both initially involved in running Chris's Discord server, helping him uh, set up his Twitch streams and moderating them. Nate's calling me. Hey, what's up? You're on stream. Uh, you, you just leave your address, please, on your stream. He also accused Tyson of sharing hentai and pornographic content in the Discord server. He would even go as far as linking me several different corn and hentai videos throughout the time of me talking with him. Not only that, but he had an NSFW bot in his Discord server before he made it public. After seeing all of this, it's up to you to decide who is telling the truth. I won't make any comments about the alleged victims, but I am sure that Chris Tyson was 100% involved in this shit. So I was just about to end this video, but then I saw a tweet from Mr. Beast. Over the last few days, I've become aware of the serious allegations of Ava Tyson's behavior online, and I am disgusted and opposed to such unacceptable acts. During that time, I have been focused on hiring an independent third party to conduct a thorough investigation to ensure I have all the facts. That said, I've seen enough online and taken immediate action to remove Ava from the company, my channel, and any association with Mr. Beast. I do not condone or support any of the inappropriate actions. 
I will allow the independent investigators the necessary time to conduct a comprehensive investigation and will take any further actions based on their findings. So this means Chris hasn't stepped away. She was kicked out of Mr. Beast's company. But anyway, the internet is going crazy and has come up with a potential next video thumbnail for the Mr. Beast channel with the headline, I hired 100 lawyers to save my friend from PDF file allegations. That's it for this video. Do you believe the allegations against Chris Tyson? Let me know your thoughts on this situation in the comments below. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more updates on this and other trending stories. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next video.